Hi, I am Hélène Spitals. I'm from here, Brussels, and I'm a beer sommelier and a tour guide. Um, and I am a member of Pink Boot Society uh, and a member of its uh, French chapter here in uh, the French-speaking countries in Europe, so France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Monaco, Switzerland, basically. And um, we, Pink Boot Society is, a, is a, basically an organization for, by uh, women and uh, women from the beer sector and the fermented alcohol, but also uh, non-binary uh, non, um, binary people. Uh, and uh, we, we aim to uh, support each other. Uh, we aim to help us uh, follow uh, education, going through education uh, via scholarships or uh, just organizing our own uh, courses. And we aim to uh, give visibility to women and non-binary folks in beer. That's what we do. Uh, we had a meeting this morning uh, because uh, we wanted to meet with all or most of the European members of Pink Boots. So it was the first ever European Pink Boots meeting with the three, three chapters uh, in Europe, so the French chapter, the Benelux chapter, and the Spanish chapter, and also members that aren't related to a chapter because they are quite isolated uh, in their country. And we had a woman from the Czech Republic and also an, a woman from Ireland coming to uh, talk with us. And uh, yeah, we just exchanged about what we do, how we do it, who we are. And it was uh, exciting to see so many different faces, so many different uh, profiles in the beer sector. And um, uh, we, 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 we hope we will be able, able to do it again soon, probably uh, in Spain. Why not? And um, we'll, we'll see. We, we hope to have new chapters in Europe. We hope to have new members in Europe. And, and to go bigger and, and bigger. We know there's been a lot of talk in the beer world about discrimination within the brewing industry. We've had a few incidents where you know it's come out that, uh, especially in the States, but also in the Europe, where people have been outspoken about the way they've been treated or discriminated against. Is that, tell me about the issue here in Europe. The main aim of Pink Boots is first to imp empower, support and help through education. But of course, as a women movement, we cannot uh, help ourselves and, and work on those issues. So Pink Boots has developed tools about diversity, equality and inclusivity uh, that help us um, empower the women we, we, we have as members, but also help others um, thinking about those issues and working on them and um, create a safer beer uh, world, basically. Okay, would you like to say something about your chapter? Hi, my name is Linda van Loon. I'm the chapter leader of the uh, Bing Boost Society Benelux chapter. And yeah. I totally agree with what Helen just said about um, yeah, the standpoint that we've taken into the whole hashtag MeToo, Red Magnet Gate, that we're an educational organization for and foremost. So the support that we offer comes in forms of education. So where are you going when something happens? And what is sexual harassment? And what can you do? And more in terms of that than being a legal entity that can really provide help or something. That's not why we're here. So. How many members do you have? In the uh, we're a very small chapter, actually. We have 11 or 12 members, but we're growing. It's, uh... Thank you. Well, my name is Carolina Simal. I came from Spain. I want to thank a French a chapter and Benelux chapter for uh, providing this meeting because it's the, the historical meeting, the first historical meeting in Europe. And 
and I want and, and I'm here to represent all the Spanish chapter, all the girls in in Spain that uh, are members of Pinball Society and all they are not. And and I just want to thank you because our mission is global. Uh, we fight for equality, integrity, and diversity, and that's why we exist. I think uh, that as we were talking in our morning meeting, uh, when that thing, uh, when when uh, an equality uh, won't exist, uh, we won't exist. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for. To go ahead. You have something. I Thank you so much. And where do you go from here? Uh, you've had your first European meeting. You have the three chapters. Where do you go from here? Do you well, expand? Uh, how? Um, we we will always try to recruit new members to be more and more uh, women and non-binary folks. Uh, we we also. I, I, I'm not sure I speak for all three of us, but I will be so, so glad when other uh, countries or regions in Europe have their own chapters. And the more we are, um, the, the, the more power we have as, uh, as women in, in beer to, to shout out, hey, we're here, we are, we, we, we are great, working, efficient people, and we... we we love what we do and we do it well. And um, we, we want to just create a, a positive, uh, safe atmosphere for everyone. And uh, yeah, of course we want to grow, but we want the movement um, worldwide to grow. Well, we at the Beer Idiots salute you and thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you.